hope you all are doing good so in this video we are going to learn about the meaning and features of green revolution so let's begin with the meaning or the concept of green revolution see here green revolution is referred to as the process of increasing agricultural production by incorporating modern tools and techniques so what is green revolution it is a process in which agricultural production is increased by incorporating modern tools and techniques okay green revolution is associated with agricultural production it is the period when agriculture of the country was converted into an industrial system due to the adoption of modern methods and techniques like the use of high yielding variety seeds tractors irrigation facilities pesticides fertilizers etc okay so it was the period where conventional farming was converted into a modern uh, method of agriculture now the term green revolution was first used by william goud you have to remember this name who coined the term green revolution it was coined by william goud and norman borlock is the father of the green revolution who is known as the father of green revolution you have to remember it as the norman borlock okay now the government of india launched a green revolution with the help of a geneticist now known as the father of green revolution in india ms swaminathan so in india the concept of green revolution was launched by a government with the help of a geneticist whose name is ms swaminathan so if you were asked to write the name of the person who is known as the father of green revolution in india you have to write the name of ms swaminathan the movement of green revolution was a great success and changed the country's status from a food deficient economy to one of the world's leading agricultural nations so the this concept of green revolution turned our country india from a food deficient state to one of the world's leading agricultural nations now this green revolution lasted for a period of about 11 years from 1967 to 1978 okay the green revolution within india led to an increase in agricultural production especially in haryana punjab and uttar pradesh so out of all the states in india these three states were under the major impact of green revolution those were haryana punjab and uttar pradesh major milestones in this undertaking were the development of a high yielding variety of seeds of wheat and rust resistant strains of wheat so under this plan under this progress of green revolution there was development of hiv seeds high yielding variety of seeds of wheat as well as rust resistant strains of wheat now the method of green revolution focused on three basic elements let's see so these are the three elements on which green revolution is focused on number 1 is using seeds with improved genetics that means high yielding variety seeds this is number 1 second is double cropping in the existing farmland so in the farmland that already existed the cropping was doubled and number 3 was the continuing expansion of farming areas the farming areas that existed was expanded okay so these three form the main basic elements of green revolution okay so this was the concept now let's move on to the features number one feature as we have discussed is uh, the introduction of high yielding variety seeds in indian agriculture this is the most important feature of green revolution in india the hiv seeds were highly effective in regions that had irrigation rich irrigation facilities and were more successful with the wheat crop so this introduction of this hiv seeds was highly effective in which regions in those regions which had uh, good irrigation facilities and the regions which uh, propagated successful cropping of wheat therefore green revolution at first focused on states with better infrastructure such as tamil nadu and punjab okay now during the second phase the high yielding variety seeds were given to other states and crops other than wheat were also 
included in the plan so this is the second point which states you see here after propagating this HYV seeds at Tamil Nadu and Punjab these seeds were given to other states and um, other and crops other than wheat were also included in the plan the most important requirement for the high yielding variety seeds is proper irrigation okay so what is the most important criteria the requirement for high yielding variety seeds it is the proper irrigation now crops grown for HYV seeds need good amount of water supply and farmers could not depend on monsoon. Hence green revolution has improved the irrigation systems around farms in India. Okay, Since this uh, HYV seeds needed good amount of water supply therefore uh, this green revolution improved the irrigation facilities in Indian agricultural system. Okay, Now let's go on to the number two point. Commercial crops and cash crops such as cotton, jute, oil seeds were not a part of the plan. Okay, green revolution in India mainly emphasized on food grains such as wheat and rice. So, the concept of green revolution revolved around wheat and rice type of cereals in case of India. Okay, to enhance farm productivity green revolution increased the availability and use of fertilizers weedicides pesticides to reduce any damage or loss to the crops so it was at this point where fertilizers weedicides and pesticides were introduced to the indian agricultural system okay number four point it also helped in promoting commercial farming in the country with the introduction of machinery and technology like harvesters drills tractors etc so it was on this period also where green revolution emphasized the propagation of harvesters drills tractors in the indian agricultural system okay so i hope that this uh, video is helpful to you all okay and in the next videos we will learn about the and the positive and negative impacts of green revolution and i would like to request you all to kindly subscribe to my channel and don't forget to put your comments on the uh, comment section below and thank you we will meet on the next video